Hey you guys, it's me, Chrissy, don't mind the hair. I am currently going to um, share with you a pour that I saw on YouTube. I'm going to tag Mixed Media Girl because she showed me this technique. Um, I finally got some more colors, and I got some more white, and I got some more black, finally. Um, I did just put this wipe down, so hopefully... Excuse me why I do this. I'm currently putting a white base down. And I'm trying to get it even. Okay, that's as even as I'll get. So, um, I'm gonna do a funnel pour. So basically, I'm gonna start from this end, and I'm gonna put the paint in. I'm not sure what colors I'm gonna do yet. I think I'm gonna do red. I'm gonna do some blue. Um, put some yellow in there. Put some orange, maybe, and then I'll put some white and black, maybe, if I can get this correctly done. So I'm going to switch the battery out real fast so I can do this So with Dollar Tree paint and my paint that I had in my stash. So there is that. Um, but yeah, let's just get to this, shall we? So I'm going to sit down and do this because I'm not very good at standing while doing the funnel pours. So, open all my paints. That one's open. That one's open. That one's open. I didn't even lift it up yet. It's already coming out. I don't understand. Okay. Orange is not doing very well. I don't know why this is being weird. Uh oh. One of the paints is too watery. What 
something going on right here. I don't know what happened right there. But okay. Okay, we're going to see what it does, and if I don't like it, I'll scrape it, but I don't have any more black or white, so I hope it turns out right. get black on me.
mouth. Holy, okay, that just came off. Cool. Love that. Hello, guys. Um, I'm just gonna flip you over so I can get a close up. What? This is after I mess with it with the blow dryer. And I like this part over here. That's the only part I really like. But I'm gonna see how it dries and if I don't like it, I can just sand it and try again. So, um, I just got done with my acrylic pour, um, I'm gonna have to let it sit there for a couple days to let it dry, um, I kinda like it, I had my healthy friend, um, uh, 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 um, my friend Luke on kick to help me with my decisions on what I need to do, whatever, so thank you Luke, um, by the way, that was my crush's name in middle school, so be careful. Um, anyways, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, but yeah, I just got done with my acrylic pour. Um, let's check it out before I leave. This is the pre, pre, uh, drying. And then hopefully I will update the, um, thumbnail soon but there it is I did a white pour I did half and half this was white all the way here and this was black but you can kind of tell I didn't use any green though which I don't get that I used blue red yellow white and black I didn't use any other color but that's okay whatever um do you get some green? Get some white here. Get some white right there. And if you look very closely, these things are called cells. I don't know which color had my cell magic in it, but that's cool. And I think because I mixed the blue and I guess I did use green. Huh. I don't know guys. I thought I didn't use green. But I don't know how I got the turquoise color. Anyways. Um, let's get back to this, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, if you like this technique, I have a bigger canvas like this, this is a wood canvas I got from Hobby Lobby, I don't know how big it is, but I will let you guys know how big it is later, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.